Hello everyone. Here is your teacher is Vanari Nakvi with uh, lab five of Tetris and practice course. So this lab practice session is related to list as you can see in uh, the screen. So if you have uh, taken the lectures for week uh, four and five you would uh, be familiar with uh, the link list so yeah, in that lectures we have talked uh, that uh, what are the link list and what are the possible operations uh, we can perform on the link, link list and uh, how it is uh, <clears throat> different from the other data structures such as arrays. So let's start today's lecture. So if we talk about the today's practice session, it is related to the uh, W link list. In the uh lectures that we have uh, discussed in the class that are, are basically uh, related to the singly link list so what is basically the difference between the singly and the doubly link list singly link list are uh, all the link lists that we have, we have discussed uh, in the week four and week five lectures so today we will talk about the doubly linked list so what is basically the difference between both of them if uh, you remember the uh, structure of the singly linked list that was uh, only element and the pointer in the singly linked list but in case of the doubly linked list we will have element next pointer and the previous pointer. So the, uh, this is basically the structure for the doubly linked list. So in the singly uh, linked list that we have discussed before, there was no previous pointer in that. There was just the element and the next pointer. So uh, structure of the linked list, um, information stored in each node, so here this is the node so element and uh, previous carries the link of the previous node and the next carries the link of the next node so in the coming uh, literature we will discuss how it is different from the uh, singly link list so if i talk about the definition um, in this we have to uh, uh, define similarly uh, same like before struct node here we have struct node uh, previous pointer then data and the next pointer if you remember the structure uh, of the previous uh, case uh, in the case of singly linked list there was only node and the data there was no uh, the pointer for the there was no pointer for the previous uh, <clears throat> so there was no previous pointer so here we have the previous pointer as well as the next pointer so this is uh, basically the change in the structure as compared to the singly linked list and uh, let's see how we can create node and fill values in the first node so if we have the first node in case of the singly linked list i have taken a simple example in which uh, i have taken the previous pointer as null and the next pointer also as null so how i can uh, define uh, or create node and fill the values in the first node so this is the simplest case uh, we have taken the node and uh, taken a, a pointer with the name t 
and the pointer uh, with the name last. So here we have uh, taken another variable int i. Uh, usually it is required to uh, move within the loop or traverse the loop for creating the link list. So we will see this uh, in the uh, upcoming uh, literature or you have seen in, uh, this in the examples that we have already discussed related to the engineering list. So this is the statement for uh, creating the node malloc command for uh, creating uh, a node in the heap of the memory. So here we are initializing uh, our previous pointer and the next pointer t is previous equal to t is next equal to null. Both we have considered them null. So in uh, t's data, here we have given the name t to this uh, node. Uh, so, node we can say. so as we have the previous pointer and the next pointer. So t's data is equal to a of zero means that uh, we are giving the first value uh, of the array uh, to this node a of zero that would be a of one if i want to create another node so and uh, uh, to the last pointer uh, uh, that is also pointing on the first so last is equal to first we have made so remaining nodes are created same like the singly linked list using for loop so uh, for loop, uh, as uh, if you see the uh, creation of the nodes uh, uh, in the singly linked list in the lectures that I have uh, uh, given in the PowerPoints. So you, uh, you, you would be familiar that how the list uh, or the linked list was being created. So for the first node, we have to do like this and the remaining node. Uh, can be created like the engineering list. So really, um, uh, we are not using singly. Uh, uh, it is understood that uh, if it is written linked list, it is the singly linked list. So um, uh, when uh, it is doubly, then they will specially write that it is doubly linked list. So. Uh, now uh, we will discuss what is the difference between both of them. If you see the singly linked list, there was only one uh, pointer coming out. Okay? One pointer is coming out and uh, one pointer is coming in. So instead, we can move in front direction as well as backward direction in case of the real linked list. Uh, in case of singly linked list, we uh, can move only in the front direction. We can go from here to this node, then from this node, we cannot go back to this node. We have to move, uh, we can move in the next node uh, if I uh, am traversing through the nodes. So, uh, same like uh, the our uh, browser. Uh, in the browser, we are opening new uh, website uh, uh, and uh, from the website there is the link to the next website like in the google so uh, then uh, if i uh, go on the back button uh, i click the back button i go on the previous page of the website and if i press again then i go on the previous page so um, that is uh, you can say one of the example of uh, uh, doubly linked list and the other example you can say uh, contact uh, list of uh, on your mobiles uh, we can scroll up as well as down uh, the contact list so that uh, is also the uh, example of the we can say the dumbly link list. we can move in the uh, forward direction as well as backward direction so uh, this is how uh, the dumbly link list uh, uh, behaves so <coughs> Header and uh, uh, Taylor. No, it is Taylor. It is not Taylor. So, uh, node spe a special node without data. So these are basically here. These uh, it is written trailers everywhere in this manual, uh, but it is Taylor. 
header and tailor. So header and tailor node special node without data. So uh, these are the special node. As you can see, there is no previous pointer in this and uh, uh, no data in the header node. In the tailor node, there is uh, no next pointer and no data. Only there is the previous pointer. So these are the special nodes in case of the doubly linked list. Uh, if I talk about the initialization of the doubly linked list, uh, initialize only header and the tailor nodes exist. So uh, time consumption in uh, here it would be constant time uh, consumption if I go from header to ta uh, tailor and tailor to header. Uh, if we have simple structure like this. So as there is no n number of uh, nodes in this, so the time consumption would be constant, uh, the order of one in this case. So uh, this is the simple, if I want to initialize the double link list, here we are just creating the nodes, get node uh, command so, um, uh, function they are using. Uh, node is created in the same way that uh, i have shown you here as well as in the lectures so this is the method of creating the node in the memory by using a lock or uh, uh, this is in the case of c language in the case of c plus plus we use new that is very simple we only say first is equal to new node it will uh, automatically allocate uh, uh, create the node in the memory. So here it is initializing uh, at uh, next is equal to t and uh, uh, t is previous, t is previous is equal to h. So this is simply the function for the initialization. It is not performing any uh, task or anything. Okay, if I want to traverse through the doubly linked list. So, traversing as we note, listing all the elements in the linked list. So, proceed the necessary task using traverse, e.g. output. Here, the time consumption will be order of n as we have, we can have the n number of nodes in there. So, how it will work, this is the pseudocode for uh, traversing the uh, doubly linked list. So here, input a doubly linked list with the uh, header edge and trigger T. So here, our input would be uh, the simply the doubly linked list. Uh, we have discussed how we can create the doubly linked list. Uh, and previously, as I have shown you here, uh, we were creating the uh, uh, node here and here I said here I am creating the first node and the remaining nodes are created by using for loop uh, same like as in the case of the linked list. So if I talk about the traversing, so here it is saying that firstly the input uh, the double linked list with the address and trailer uh, T Tailor. So and the output. Just I am going and visiting all the uh, nodes. So output will be none. So here t is equal to h. Let's uh, say if uh, this is p and uh, it is equal to and it will be traverse up till it finds the Taylor T, it will be not equal to T, it will be keep on uh, iterating and uh, visit P dot element and it will be visiting all the elements in the P. Here is the element is A, B, and C. So, and uh, going to each element and then um, for going to the next node. Uh, p is equal to p's next so 
and then return because the this way it would be traversing so in case of c language dot operator is used for uh, referencing the pointers in case of uh, c language arrows we will be mostly using arrows so insertion on the w link list uh, if i want to insert in the w link list uh, as we already know that uh, insertion can be of uh, uh, at least two types so uh, insertion can be at the start of the uh, link list or it can be at the given position or uh, it can be uh, also at the end so uh, there can be two three cases uh, uh, in case of the insertion in the link list so uh, this is the function for the insertion so here we are discussing the function when we are given the particular position to insert within the link list so input the link list with the header edge and trailer t Mm, previous node p so previous node would be p uh, and element x so if i want to insert the uh, element x uh, and uh, a particular position so uh, this would be the pseudo code for this what would be doing well, we would be doing first we will create a node that we want to insert where q, q is equal to get node so here we are creating the node uh, uh, firstly we will be filling the data in that node q's element is equal to x here x is the data element and q's previous here it would be the previous so q's previous is equal to the p so as you can see it will be coming from the p and uh, q's next this q's next is equal to p's next so here and uh, this was the p's next so q's next will be equal to the p's next q's next will be p's next it is also mentioned in the comment so uh, p's next dot previous will be equal to q so uh, p's next previous is q p's next this is p's next and this is the previous so that would be equal to q now uh, this is kind of tricky uh, we talk about p's next this would be the p's next next node and uh, what's p's next P is next previous. This is P is next previous. This is P is next next. So uh, for this, if I want to insert this, I have to uh, do this as well. P is next uh, previous. P is next previous equal to Q. And finally, P is next is equal to Q. And uh, P is next would be equal to q so basically if i want to insert this node i have to make four connections let me show you uh, what are what i mean by the four connections here i have inserted the object here is this one so if i want to insert this new element here so we need uh, these four connection one two three four so i was talking this is the case 
if I say that this is uh, P uh, in our example, this is P. P's next, P's next is this node. So P's next previous, this is our previous. So if I want to connect this one, so I have to give this thing to my new node. So P's next, P's next is this and P's next, what P's next? P's next previous. This is P's next, next. So P's next, previous would be given to this node. So this is how we can make the insertion in case of the W linked list. So these are the four uh, op, uh, connections after filling the elements, Q element and uh, X, we have to perform these four connections that I have shown you in the example, like one, two, three and four, these four connections. So now we have to perform in the case of insertion. So all the other insertion is same like the singly linked list insertion, just uh, the connections are uh, more than uh, that way. The method is same. So if I want to remove, removal is same like uh, the deletion operation in the singly linked list. So here, if I want to remove this element C from the linked list, just I have to remove the ele this element C from there, I have to directly linked with the next node and uh, this reverse is also directly linked from here to the uh, B node. So this is how the removal of the linked list is performed. You can see P's previous dot next equal to P's next and P's next dot previous is equal to P's previous. So th this is how the uh, when any node is removed, the uh, operation will be performed. So here P's, this is P, P's previous dot next. P's previous dot next is equal to P's next. If this is P and P is uh, previous dot next is equal to P's next. Here, this is P's next. So it will be connected here and P's next dot previous. So this is P and this is P's next. Uh, P's next dot previous, this would be the previous. So it would be connected to P's previous. So the, this is the P's previous. So you can see here, these are the two connections. This one, this one and this one is this one. So you can check it and uh, on the basis of this W link list, we have to solve this uh, uh, one simple examples in which we are performing these operations. This is related to strings. Implement the W link list described above and English letters uh, list uh, ADT etc. Uh -huh. The uh, four operation must be supported assuming the position starts at first. So add, delete, get entry if I want to get any element um, and print. So it must support these uh, elements. You are familiar with what I mean by add Contains list, position, and the item that I want to add, delete uh, item and the position from where I want to delete. And uh, uh, if I want uh, to talk about it, so it would be uh, the list and the position from where I want to get return an item while you add position. So if 
the position is not valid, output invalid on the screen and ignore the operation. So describe the input, the input output example below. The content of each operation are entered one per line. Uh, content should be entered one per line followed by the type location and items of operation by turns. So type the first letter of the English letter is given in uppercase. So it will be given in uppercase. Uh, add button, display, get, print. So location positive integer. So this is how we have to do it. Let's see the example. Uh, the number of operations that I want to perform five. So firstly, I want to do a, a addition of element. So here I am using a alphabet. So it would be following this function. So I have to give the list and position and the uh, element that I want to add at that position. So is one mm, S. Then again A is two T. Then again A is three R. And uh, again A is four. Here uh, it is some error. It should be four, and it should be A. Uh, and here should be a and here should be r so yeah, i think here okay i will correct it before uploading here it's things are not working at this moment so i will correct it not working i think it is gone in the korean mode or English mode. Anyways, here it should be S T A and R. So it would display S T A R. So uh, print uh, by P, it would print the list. So these are the five operations that are being performed here. Uh, here A and R are interchanged, and here it will be different. So we can print this way. Here I want to perform nine operations. Similarly, A for add, at first position I want to add D, and in second I want to add A, at third Y, then here D is for delete, not for display. We have had display previously, it is delete. So delete first position, then P. P is for print, so it will print. You can see here, first it added D A by D, then it have removed first position. A Y was remaining, so it was displayed. So then it said get this position. Uh, it said the get position three, but there was only two A and Y in that. So it said invalid position. So similarly, we can perform more uh, tasks add at position one add s so now it will become say s a by say uh, at position one after adding s so it will print a so get three so uh, it would get position three so this is how uh, at position three it is one so it is output with a so this is the task that you have to perform by using the doubly linked list as you can see that we are going to and fro forward and backward to and fro so uh, you uh, have to perform this uh, uh, kind of string operation by using the doubly linked list this is all for today's practice session 
uh, you have to submit this uh, after one week so hope to see you in the next video. hope you take care and have a nice day